I'm Buns. Rather you're hating or loving 6.3 Paladin, I'm here to give you a controller layout either way. Though, please tell me which one you are. Must know. I also have heard your guys' advice loud and clear and turned on the ability names just for the video, so please give me a like on this video to give me good pets for that. I probably am switching back to Paladin main because this controller layout for me is personally making me live my bun tank fantasies. Staying with tradition, my cross hotbar setup is right trigger 1, right trigger 2, left trigger 1, and left trigger 2. Link down below to see how to set up this style of cross hotbar because that's the most asked question I get all the time. I don't know how some of you play with a single cross hotbar. Right trigger 1 stays with traditional mindset of having the 3 main GCD combo on the right most used trigger. Fast Blade, Riot Blade, Royal Authority, and Atonement. I'll explain a little further down the line why we have Atonement here. Right trigger 1 d-pad is Fight or Flight, Requiescat, Holy Spirit, and Passage of Arms. Once we get all the rotation, I will cover these placements as well. Right trigger 2 letters is our defensive cooldowns, and you can place these any which way you want. I have them as Rampart, Sentinel, Reprisal, and Bulwark, the new ability. Right Trigger 2 D-Pad is my least favorite section on the hotbar just for controllers and that is Low Blow, Shield Lob, Iron Will, and Interrupt. These are my least used abilities during tank play. Please don't look too far into that statement, I just mean they're less used than all of the other abilities. Left Trigger 1 Letter is our AoE combo, Total Eclipse, Prominence, Holy Circle, and Confidior. Now that we have reached here, Confidior and Atonement are on the X button for Xbox controllers or Square button for PlayStation controllers because this allows us to still be able to move around during this multi-usage skill. So rather if you're going in Confidior combo or using a stacked Atonement usage, you'll still have movement with your free hand to move your character around for any AoEs or boss mechanics. Left trigger D-pad kind of changes for Paladin from my usual setup. I have Goring Blade, Circle of Scorn, Expansion and Intervene. Having these abilities here keeps the entire rotation on Paladin on the bottom cross hotbar, which I much prefer, especially with Paladin's really low GCD recommendation of 2.5. Now, you usually would see Expansion and Circle of Scorn on the right side D-pad with Fight or Flight and Requiescat, but the personal issue I was having was where to put Goring Blade that made sense for that usage. I didn't like having to go over to the left trigger for one ability, then go back to the right trigger, and then back to the left trigger again for Confidior combo. Thus, this is the solution I came up with. Circle of Scorn and Expansion are always double weaved together per balance Discord, same ringing true for Fight or Flight and Requiescat. Intervene is also nice to keep up during dungeon pulls to make them go quicker, but it's also weaved inside the Confidior opener, so this just makes it easier for me personally. But if you want to talk about it, you can join my community discord where I spend the most of my days. Left trigger 2 letters is Holy Sheltron, Clemency, Provoke, and Arms Length. Holy Sheltron is here because it has a very, very easy double left trigger tap during AoE combo, which is when mostly you're using Holy Sheltron. Bosses and trials, you do use it, but it's not as important as during big mob pools. We used to have this on the lower cross hotbar for usage, but it just kind of makes more sense in rotation where I have it on my cross hotbar for me. Left trigger 2 d-pad is Divine Veal, Intervention, Hollowed Ground, and Cover. I just find these abilities that I have to cast on teammates like Intervention best suited for the left trigger d-pad since that's how you click up and down on the party. Paladin's tank and vulnerability hollowed ground is also here because you usually can weave it into your defensive cooldowns if you have a newer or mid-tier experienced healer. It's just nice to use to take some pressure off the healer if they need a little bit of a break. I always get asked why I don't use shield bash or shirk on the cross hotbar and it mainly has to do with that they're not really needed other than for really niche instances so I don't feel the need to have them on my cross hotbar if I'm not going to need them 99% of the time. Shield Bash is just like Low Blow, which you already have. Shirk is really only used when you're doing Extremes or Savage and you need to change the main tank in between mechanics or for mechanics. So it really doesn't find its way into casual content. If you are struggling with the rotation, check your GCD speed. You have to put in fillers for certain part of the burst rotation, depending on if you have Holy Spirit up or some atonement stacks in order to keep things lined up. Now, if you have huge tank anxiety and struggle with tanking, you can find my how to tank step-by-step -step guide in the description box down below. I took this controller layout into a dungeon and it feels so nice and smooth. If you like my content, please consider liking and Limit Break 3 that subscribe button as it really helps me with the ultimate boss YouTube algo. 
I have all of my other controller layouts on my channel as well as an immense learning library for many things in the game. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.